Monday, March 11th, 8.30 p.m. Mountain Time, 2019. Guys, I'd like to thank Dee from Alabama for sharing this next article with me today down in South Alabama. There was a quake that occurred not far from the most recent quake in the Florida Panhandle. And I have an idea what could be going on, so stick with me here and I'll tell you what I think. 4.30 p.m. update, magnitude 3.1 earthquake confirmed. I just spoke with a U.S. Geological Survey official who confirms a magnitude 3.1 earthquake happened today at 1.37 p.m. in South Alabama. The quake was centered just south of the Welka Road railroad crossing, about four miles east-northeast of Flomaton, Alabama. USGS officials were out checking seismographs in the area today. Here's a map where the earthquake was felt. It was felt up in Foshi, Alabama, Riverview, Dixonville, Pollard, Wall, and Wolflong. And once again, it was felt down in Florida, in near Century, Florida. That's the second earthquake in less than a week near Century, Florida. There was an earthquake in Century, Florida, which is in the Florida Panhandle right here back on March 7th, and then you've got this earthquake today. This is a, a rare event, very rare event, but I think I might know what's going on here, or at least an idea. So this is the one near Century in the Florida Panhandle, which is super rare, and this is also a very rare event. Let me tell you what I think is happening. In that area, there's an ancient fracture zone known as the Bahamas Fracture Seismic Zone, and you can see it right here on this map. See this blue area right here? It runs right through that area where those quakes occurred um, on the 7th and then today on the 11th, right there, Alabama and Florida. So this fracture zone is probably seeing a little bit of movement. The movement in this zone, as you can tell by the little dots here, it's very, very rare. It is a very rare occurrence. And also there's something interesting about this fracture zone I want to read to you guys. And it's got an interesting connection to a major fault zone in the area. Let's read about it here real quick. Two fault zones are found in Alabama. The South Appalachian Seismic Zone, also known as the Eastern Tennessee Seismic Zone. And that's in Northeast and Central Alabama. And the Bahamas Fracture Seismic Zone in Southwest Alabama. Alabama also lies within the influence of the New Madrid Seismic zone and coincidentally as I was doing this video or just before I started to do this video there was yet another earthquake small albeit but there was one up in the New Madrid area there's been quite a few here in the last 30 days I've got this on a seven day map but th that quake right there occurred within the last hour so a lot of activity in this area for earthquakes especially those two down there that's very rare that's a very rare event but I do think it's tied into that ancient fracture zone. And another thing it could be is water weight. And you take into consideration the record rainfall in this area, and it's not done yet, there's more on the way, could have the ground so super saturated that it may be causing adjustments in these fault zones that are there. I'm just trying to apply basic common sense because it's like the rooftops up here in Minnesota and Wisconsin that are holding so much weight over in the Dakotas, Michigan, that the roofs are starting to give way. They're starting to buckle and they have to get that excessive weight off in order to, you know, save the roofs from caving in in some cases. Well, if you have too much water and water weight in the soil, it's going to cause these old fracture zones to move just a little bit. And I think that's what's occurred today down in uh, the Florida Panhandle and in Alabama. And it was felt in multiple communities. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a super day. And